Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So today I actually want to talk about something that's based around the uh, topic of sleep, uh, something called a hard reset. Um, now, the reason this came to my mind is because I was hanging out with um, Aaron recently and, well, that's basically what he was trying to do. He was trying to pull a hard reset um, <clears throat> when it came to his sleep schedule because it was all over the place. And he wanted to make sure his sleep schedule got back on track. Got me... Th when, when we, after thinking about that, it kind of got me thinking how many... I wonder how... I've always wondered how many people that actually works for. And the reason I started thinking of that is actually the fact that it does work for him but if I personally were to try it, it actually wouldn't work for me. The reason for this from my end is because in my past, I've done a lot of um, tests, medical tests, that require me to be up all night and sleep during the day. So would I have a sleep pattern down? No. And because of it, would I ever have one? Not really. It's more the pattern would be more just get the eight hours whenever you can. And that's it. Rather than have the eight hours at this exact point in time. It's never been the case for me. Even when I, there was a point in time where I tried, I would go to bed like at 12.30ish. And I would try to crash around then, but I'd be awake for like two or three hours. Or at least my brain wouldn't officially... I should... Okay, let me rephrase. My brain would not officially go into third degree sleep until like two or three hours later at least it felt like it if it wasn't the case and sometimes it was the case um but either way around i guess because of that factor it got me thinking i do wonder how many people it actually does work for um i i haven't asked around or anything but it's an interesting topic to me because well, one of the one of the major things that triggers okay, you need to be sleeping. Well, there are parts of your brain that actually trigger that factor. Unfortunately, some people don't exactly don't have the capability of actually being able to do that because they're miss um, missing the parts of the brain that requ are required to tell you, hey, go to sleep. Uh, so you're usually up a very it's like a very long time during the night and I mean most people who are like that usually suffer from usually um, <clears throat> autism for example a lot of people who go through autism a lot of them do have that particular problem do all of them? no, no absolutely not but a lot of them do I've met a lot of people with autism, that's why I say that, and almost every single one I've met has had that issue. So, that being said, that's not the only thing that actually can prevent proper sleep. Uh, for example, sleep apnea or insomnia. Uh, if you suffer from either of those, then yeah, you're going to struggle with sleeping, or at least... With insomnia, you'll have trouble with night, but you could at least get some sleep. But would it create a good pattern? Not really. I mean, maybe if you're the right person, you decide to be nocturnal or something, sure, yeah. I don't know, maybe you're Dracula and you go through insomnia, and that's why you're Dracula, just because you're never able to sleep during the night, so you sleep during the day instead. I don't know. But... I don't know. It's just an interesting topic that I thought of. Uh, what do you guys think about this topic? Um, for one, and another, do any of you have that kind of issue where you tr have trouble sleeping when you need to do a hard reset? Let us know in the comments below. Or not. Your choice. <laughs> uh, but if you liked this video, make sure to give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Share out the video if you like. If you know anyone who might like this kind of stuff as well. Um, if you want to check out any other discussion rant type videos, click the link on this side of my head where you'll be able to find over 300 of those at this point. 
Uh, or maybe this doesn't float your boat. You might like the thing that's over here instead. I don't know. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning in to the video, guys, and we hope to see all of you in another one. See you guys later.